Well, several members of the WPBF 25 family will be throwing out first pitches at some of those upcoming spring training games. Let's go to the rosters, <laughs> Tiffany. Next Wednesday, Glenn Glazer will be at the ballpark of the Palm Beaches for the Astros-Boston Red Sox game. March 7th, meteorologist Brooke Silverang will throw out the first pitch. On the 22nd, morning anchor Stephen Graves takes the mound. Our sports director, Shane Wright, will be at Roger Dean Stadium this Sunday. Yanni Crockett will be there as the Marlins take on the Red Sox. So funny, they did not ask us to do it again. They've seen our <laughs> arms. <laughs> but tonight, Yanni joins us live from PGA National in Palm Beach Gardens, where round two of the Honda Classic is going on right now. Yanni? I got to warm up my arm for that first pitch on Tuesday, but for now, working on my golf swing here at PGA National. Round two almost in the books here on a beautiful day. And you know what? These golfers are handling this course pretty well. 144 golfers started this tournament. We'll be down to 65 and ties, but right now the cut line is plus one. So if you weren't playing par golf or better, you're probably not playing in the weekend. And the course record today, get this, almost taken down by an American. Let's show you highlights from round two of the Honda Classic. Another gorgeous day in Palm Beach Gardens. U.S. Ryder Cup champion Zach Johnson caught up a bit in the bear trap this morning. He has to drain this putt just to bogey but he rallies for 67. 2020 champion Sung J M entered with two shots off the lead entering the day in the sand on 18, but just a perfect bunker shot. That cozies up to the pin. He taps in for his first birdie of the day, but he was one over on the round. Your round one co-leader Billy Horschel with something in his shoe. He gets it out in time to give this birdie attempt a good luck, but he's just short. He tap in for par. A bit of a struggle today right now, plus two, minus three overall. All right, Chris Kirk with an unreal day, minus eight on the day, walking to 18. This birdie putt, if he drains it, would tie the course record with a 61. He misses it and has to settle, yes, I say settle, for an eight under 62 to finish at minus nine. One off your lead, American Justin Suh. One shot back entering the day. He finishes off a six under 64 with a birdie on 18. He is your leader heading into Saturday. We just hit it to the right spots on the green and, you know, we made some long lag putts that fortunately just went in. Um, and, you know, that's, that's always so, a key to some good weeks. So hopefully we just keep it rolling. It's definitely the conditions that, that lended itself to being able to be a little bit more aggressive, being able to, to dial in kind of carry distances and stuff like that with irons and wedges better. All right, Justin saw on your leaderboard one shot lead over Kirk, Ryan Gerard minus eight, Ben Taylor minus eight, and then at minus seven, Ben Martin, Eric Cole, and Bryce Garnett, six players within three shots of the lead. Now this tournament obviously predates PGA National, but the tournament record at this location is minus 13, so that is very much in jeopardy right now with the leader at minus 10, but you have to figure it'll be tougher pin placements, maybe make those greens a little bit faster heading into the weekend. Coming up new at six, we'll have more highlights from the second round, plus why all the Honda Classic merch is going so fast here in the merchandise tent. For now, we're live at PGA National. I'm Yanni Karakis. Todd and Tiff, back to you. All that merch. Yes, <laughs> another great day at the Honda Classic. All right, Yanni, thank you. Well, next, Alec Murdoch taking the stand again for more cross-examination in his double murder trial. The crimes the disgraced attorney admitted to today. Plus. I'm just concerned that West Boynton Beach has just become the new landfill for all the roofing contractors. A local landscaper says his neighbor is improperly dumping trash, manure, building debris right next to his property. Tonight, his concerns on the response from the county. And coming up all new at 530, the impact of the war in Ukraine, including right here in South Florida, a local Ukrainian surgeon recounts when she first learned of the war. You're watching WPBF 25 News, the most trusted news in the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast.
A new report shows consumer prices rose last month more than expected. The Commerce Department reports says prices climbed 0.6% from December to January. That's up sharply from a 0.2% increase from November to December. Also, the biggest monthly jump we've seen in prices since last June. The report sparked new concerns that the Federal Reserve will continue interest rate hikes to curb inflation and cool off this hot economy, which has worried Wall Street investors. And tomorrow, we are celebrating Black History Month with a half hour special. I sat down with Lizzie Robinson Jenkins to talk about the 100th anniversary of the Rosewood Massacre. Jenkins shared with me the tragic story of her aunt and how her aunt escaped the racial violence that killed at least seven people. You'll hear what sparked the massacre and why Jenkins hopes her aunt's story will never be forgotten. Tune in to watch Project Community celebrating Black History Month, anchored by Jay Jarvis and Stephen Graves, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. A terrifying scene in a railroad crossing. Next, what the truck was carrying, how the driver escaped. You're watching WPBF 25 News at 5. Palmish County leaders call it a common problem, illegally dumping debris, including manure and more, without a permit. Now a landscaper in Boynton Beach says he's seeing it happen just a few feet from his property. Our Suji Nam has the story on the changes that that man is pushing for tonight. We do a lot of topiary, kind of bonsai style for landscape. Jason Klein Richard has been running tropical landscapers for nearly three decades. He says he hasn't seen anything like this before. Roof tiles and cow manure stockpiled about 200 feet away from my well. And I'm just concerned that West Boynton Beach has just become the new landfill for all the roofing contractors. Jason says it all began in January with a new neighbor. Everybody just assumes, oh, it's root. Okay, there's tar. There's gypsum, there's glue, there's metals. The Palm Beach County Planning, Zoning and Building Department posted this stop work order, prohibiting dumping things like tile and manure. It looks like it, it's either not allowed, but it definitely requires a permit. 
and uh, we're going to proceed forward with our notice of violation process, and they're going to have to probably remove the roof tile and get a permit for anything that they could qualify to get a permit for. Jason tells us he has a well about 200 feet away, and his neighbors also rely on a well. I try to protect the environment and grow plants and do this and do that and do it the, the proper way. But you don't bring that stuff in and then just contaminate everybody's stuff. Jason tends to 30 acres of land and says there are environmental concerns with dumping countywide. You can't just stockpile horse manure unless you have a, and the, uh, the roof tiles, unless you have a liner and it's a registered landfill to do it properly. You know, it's got to be filtered somehow or somewhere where it's not next to people's well or their houses. We also reached out to Jason's neighbor's company for a comment and are waiting to hear back. It's an eyesore and it's just, it's um, sad. In Boynton Beach, Sujinam, WPBF 25 News.